Ivan, you're so disciplined. You're so consistent. How do you do it? How have you strung so many days in a row of whatever? And you're even squatting every single day. It's not even a, a, a simple task. It's a training task. It's quite hard. How do you do it, man? Uh, a lot of these things are very, very hard to get across um, because they're multifaceted. It's not just do X and you'll be all right. Uh, but I think there is a something that I always kind of think about and, and I've tried to convey that across these videos multiple, time, multiple times and I've spoken to you guys many different times uh, through Instagram comments, all that sort of stuff. And what I try to always get across is it's all in the mind. Life is all mental. It's all mental. Sport is mental. It's all how you perceive the environment you're in. Uh, we all have stress. We all go through shit don't get it twisted that somebody else is not going through crap. Whether you're living in a mansion or living in a freaking hut, there's always crap around. There's always crap around. Uh, so that's number one. We all go through shit. Life is shit, basically. That's what it is. It's just the difference between somebody that does well in life and somebody that doesn't do well in life is how they process it. How you, how you process that information, that stress, what you deal with it, how you deal with it. The way I stay consistent and the way I stay disciplined, whatever term you want to use to describe whatever the hell is going on with me in my journey, every single day I wake up, every single day, it's not a question of will I or won't I. It's always I will. However, I'm not going to fight every single day. I don't attack every single day. I don't go to war every single day. That is not the mentality that is that the suits longevity. You can't go to war every single time. You can't put these, you know, Mount Everest type of tasks in front of you every single day. What you can do, and this is what I do, I say to myself every single day, it's gonna vary, but I'm always going to put forth an effort. There's always going to be a squat. There's always going to be an effort, and that's for me the most valuable thing because that mental exercise of getting my ass up out of the bed, out of the couch on a rainy day, cold day, hot day, 50 degree day, zero degree day, whatever the case might be, whatever's happening in my life, family members are dying, 50 celebrations here and there, we're all running around, busy life, I can always put in five minutes, man. I'm not a CEO of a Fortune 500 company, man. Even these people have five minutes to themselves. If you can take a shit, and I know everyone takes a shit, if you can take a shit, if you have time to have a shit, you have time to squat. But the difference is I don't expect Mount Everest every single day. I come in and I'm like, okay, what's on offer today? What can I do today? I don't run through a brick wall every single day. I tell myself, let's see what I can do today. And that is a comforting thing. and It doesn't take a lot of willpower to say to myself, I'm just going to go over there and just squat an empty bar. But the act of squatting the empty bar almost like opens up another door. And then you open up another door, another all of a sudden... You've done 10 by 10 at 100 kilos, but you never set out to do that. The mind is powerful. It thinks to itself, oh, let's just sit here and just relax. And you said, you said to that guy, look, I'm just going to go over there, squat it once, man, and see what's up. As soon as you get that blood going, all of a sudden, the body's like, oh, that actually feels all right. Let's, let's keep doing it. And all of a sudden, you trick yourself into more. But you don't sit there and be like, okay, we're going to climb Mount Everest today. That's too hard. It's too hard to process, man. Just say to yourself, I'm going to walk 100 meters. That's it. And we're turning back instantly. And as soon as you start walking at 50, 60, 70 minutes, all of a sudden, like, I'll oh, do a bit more. It's all a mental trick. Expectations. You can't put pressure on yourself. Just say to yourself, every single day is a different puzzle. Let's sort out the, 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 the puzzle for the day. And that's it. Nothing else. That's auto-regulation in its purest sense. That's the best way I can explain to, my, to myself and to you guys how I've mustered a thousand plus days in a row. Every single day I say to myself, let's do the tiniest little bit. Ends up being more than I planned. Guys, I've just uploaded the Q&A 13 on Patreon. So all you Patreon guys out there, look out for that. Uh, it's been a, a bit of a break in between 12 and 13. I feel like ever since I've had COVID, I don't know why. I feel like my life has been on fast forward. Lots of things happening. Uh, but finally got that up there. If you guys have any questions for me, leave it in that little channel uh, on Patreon. Whatever it is, I'll, I'll get to them. As soon as it kind of builds up a little bit worth a you know full video, I'll do it. Um, 
ask me whatever you want. It's your it's your opportunity to kind of have access to me to you know ask questions, and 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 uh, I'll get to them. But please, on that channel, don't have conversations amongst each other amongst you guys. Just leave the questions so I can clearly see where the questions are, and I can just take a screenshot, use my wife's phone to read the thing or uh, uh, read the questions as I'm answering and recording with my phone. That's kind of how I do things. Anyway, guys, appreciate all of you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.